Katie, you got your face shoved a little bit too far up that Garu's ass. I think it's time for us to part ways with this group. Start heading off elsewhere to the wild yonder. Find more interesting path in life. So more than half of our food left. I don't know what that is. It could be a hiver. Oh shit! You're playing with my emotions game! Trying to be stealthy and cautious and you're sending living hell from up above. Hot longs, malnourished, no faction. Who are you? No faction. Just not even drifter. Oh, are you like a lost Tiver? Exiled Hiver. No more dialogue than A. That, eh? We'll just follow around with Hotlongs for a bit, see what's up. Can't even offer him to join me or something. He has no clothing. He's malnourished. I mean, he just ate a little bit, but... Hotlongs, what story do you have to tell? Why were you exiled? What happened to you? I want to know. Tell me a tale, brother. Brother in life. I too walk through the bone. Welcome to my tail. It says he's patrolling. I don't know where he's patrolling from or to. Um, ooh. I think I know there's. Ooh. Okay, Flats Lagoon. Do I want to head this way? I know there's a mosquito in front of my face. Bastard. Alright, see ya, Hot Lungs. Best of luck, my friend. Oh shit. Gorillos. What's that Pokemon? Those aren't even Gorillos. What the fuck are you? Land bats? I don't know much about land bats. They still frighten me. It's like the inherent idea that they exist and that they could potentially murder me in a second with these kind of fucking stats. Makes me not really want to, you know, wander all too close to them. Considering they can also outrun me, in the looks of it. Land bats there. There is supposedly a town out here. Let's see. I keep ever vigilant here. Is there anything hiding? Oh, there it is. Ooh. Lots Lagoon. Well, at least it's the region name. I think it might be the city name, too. I mean, that sounds like it could easily be a town name. Um, shit. Is there a way to get to this without swimming much? Not really. Um, we'll try and go to this point here. Yeah, so not right here. Goddamn mosquito! Oh, okay. Hive traders. I'm okay with dealing with hive. Greetings, hivers. Megan, I can't really purchase anything from you, so I may as well not even bother trying. Western hive caravan drones. Yeah, they all swim so much faster than me. Nanashi, the traitor. This is how quickly I swim. Make our way slowly to Flats Lagoon. Come on, Pippi. I believe in you. You got this. Gotta learn to swim someday. Takes time. 
three weeks later. Here we go. Now we're off again to try and reach Flats Lagoon. Don't see anything inherently hostile in the area. That should help. I've never really been here. We're already finding new places. Now the question is, is this the United Cities? No, it doesn't look like it. Good. We should be fine then. Tech hunters here. Give me an option to talk to one of you. Police chief. Let's introduce ourselves to the police chief. What's that be useful to me? I'm a bounty hunter looking for work. Alright. Nothing fancy. I'm not actually a bounty hunter yet. I'd like to hunt this fucking mosquito! Go away! Nobody likes you! Life is a lie and your family is full of shit! Sorry, I needed to get that out of my system. Alright, we're in Flats Lagoon. In the town, Flats Lagoon. Ooh, boy. They might have backpacks here. Might be something to work towards. Might be doing more manual labor in the near future. Yes, they have backpacks. They also have limbs. Alright, what I really want is the thieves' backpack. Because I can't afford to have anything weighing me down at the moment. But it's ex a bit expensive. It's 3k. I would prefer if they had a better one. One of the regular sized ones. But as you can see, getting a regular, like, medium sized backpack will reduce my, like, dodge and stealth and combat speed stuff. But this won't do anything to me across the board. And it even has better encumbrance reduction. It's not going to be as big, but it'll do a better job for me. So I want to get that. Gotta get that. In the meanwhile, having some of these maps might be useful too, but for the time being, I can't afford anything. What we're going to do is head to the bar, I think. Say hi to whoever's over here and see what we can find. That one tends to be a hotbed of information. No, not that far. Yeah, a bunch of mercenary guild folks. On defensive positions. More tech hunters. Alright, not too much going on over here. Oh, hey, another place. Oh, yeah, they clearly advertise limbs here, too. That's really good. It's a really good shop, actually. Just due to the sheer amount of crap that they have. I was trading in the hives the other week. And I noticed that brown stuff that a lot built huts out of. It ain't stone. And it ain't wood neither. I guess it ain't. Never really thought about it before. I mean, why don't we have buildings made of that stuff outside of the hives, eh? Mr. Super Saiyan Beanie. Could be the red sand. Maybe if you dig deep enough around Vane. Oh no. Don't look like it came out of the ground to me. What are you saying? Two Moon drank too much rum last week, threw his guts up all over the bar. I'm saying is... That stuff inside Two Moon looked real similar. I don't under... Wait. No. Just saying. No. <laughs> some of the organic conversations you run into are pretty great. Oh, some dudes here actually have some bounties on them. Oh, you guys are hurt. Why are you hurt? You look hurt. It's a fair day for trucking, Outlander. Well, we're not actually traveling right now. You're just sort of not paying attention to that fact. Oh no, this won't do. I'm gonna use a bit of my medical shit, but... Why are you helping me? Because I want to. Now shut up! I'm gonna suck his dick. Wait, you're a chick, aren't you? That's a, that's a chick. I'm gonna... Never mind. I'm not even gonna worry about that. Nor the fact that I started talking about anything whatsoever. I'm fresh. We have a 
Chad over here. Chad! <laughs> Stop me off for the Ashlands, eh? Journeyed halfway there myself. But got in trouble with those freaky pit gangs after I made it through the beak nests. Turned back to recoup in this sleepy old man town. No biggies, no biggies. I'll hum some tunes. Swat some hunter granddads and punch some monster bones. Be trained up ready come next week. Just watch me. Survived on your own? Sure, yeah. A few beaks tried to have a chomp at me, but I give them knuckle dust witch right in the nose. But sure, I ain't gonna lie down like the other posers. I hightailed it east after the first two went down, and the herds came after me. I ain't afraid of running. I ain't no tin fest. Hell no, I ain't. I like you. Join me. I can't afford you. Too bad, rookie. Too bad. Damn. He looks like he'd actually be worthwhile keeping around. On road to the Ashlands? Guess you'll be looking to stock up. Show me what you've got. Ah, you're the shopkeep. I would love to... Um... Get another ration packer. Actual proper first aid kit. But I need money. Which means I need to actually do something that'll earn money. Ooh, hello. Something was going on down here. A bone dog to deal with. There's another one. Boneyard wolf. Ooh. I may have to consider this. All right. Work with me. I got an idea. Boneyard wolves. You can get super fucking beastly in a fight. One of the mods we have running is Tame Beasties. Which means that I could potentially make this dude my pet. Problem is, we need some specific stuff before we can do that, which means we still need to make some money. Jesus Christ, I thought I thought you were a statue off in the distance for a little while. I thought you were like a statue over here. But what I'm going to do is while he's uh, knocked the fuck out, I'm going to patch him up and then pick him up. This is actually going to help me build up some strength at least. So two birds, one stone. Build strength, build strength. I'm going to use all of my first aid supplies on randos. I can only save one of you. And it looks like you're fucked. And we're going to need to keep up food and meat. There's some money. And we need to head to the shop. Sorry, Boneyard Wolf. You'll have to be a bit of a sacrifice. You're a traitor. That actually is very convenient, you being right here. So I want to trade. By that I mean I mainly want to sell shit. Excellent. God damn mosquito! What we what is required to be done in order for me to tame an animal is I must well first I gotta catch it unconscious, which I've done. That part's over. That part's over and done with. Next what I need to do is I need to put it in a cage. Problem is, that requires me to have a home and the appropriate technology to build a cage, which I don't have. Oh, this is probably not going to happen. Yeah, I just realized that that part's not going to happen. Well, at least for the time being, I'll use the dog to help me get my strength up, but I'm not gonna be... I'm not gonna be uh, making any significant progress on that kind of shit. Yeah, I shouldn't have bought any of these iron plates. Ah, uh, so we're gonna carry our wolf around town a little bit. I think we might have to just actually accept that this one's dead and sell off what it's got. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. I have no way of saving the wolf, so goodbye, pupper. It's a harsh wilderness. You were essentially doomed to be screwed over anyway. Here, I have a dead wolf in your store. I have a ration pack, so I don't really need that. Uh, I'm still short for a thieves backpack. That's what I want. All right, now you're gonna take care of a wolf. Dead wolf. Oh, hello, additional wolves. Okay, so this might be our industry: looting dead boneyard wolves. Funnily enough, once I get the backpack, it'll be easier for me to do all this. Pippi starts off her profitable industry of uh, looting, skinning, and selling off the corpses 
the, f the leather and teeth of nearby boneyard wolves in the town of Flats Lagoon. More wolf sales. We'll make enough for a little bit here. Do some interesting shit. Yep, back up to some encumbrance here. But now we go back inside. You're like, hey, I have more leather shit you want to buy. The best part is that the guards don't give a shit that I'm taking their own profit. Because they're not paid to skin this shit. It's one of the only ways I can really make money. Nothing really stacks in this inventory, which sucks. That's probably the worst part of all this. I'm going to actually get rid of this and that, mainly to cut down on my weight. He's fat! Now I'm at 100% max run speed that I have, which is good. Also means I have no detriments to my uh, sneaky, sneaky abilities and whatnot. Yeah, so there are bone wolves in this region. It's actually a good thing that we ran into them the way we did. Because it means that the fucking mosquito bit me on my middle finger on my right hand. Just to flip me the fuck off! Fuck you, mosquito! But it also means that I now have the knowledge that there are a bunch of, you know, bone wolves running around. I'm gonna buy this. So what we need to do is we need to get to the point that we can research imprisonment. Which also means that I need the research bench. And research materials. Once we do, Pippi can start building up her wolf army. The problem then becomes continuing to feed said wolf army. It's funny to think that an animal skin, like the animal skin in this game, weighs as much as their teeth. Okay. I guess. I guess you can do that. Right, I'm gonna upgrade my medical kit here. You have, you do not. That doesn't help much. Um. Right, I need something called building materials to make this fucking research bench. So that's great that they don't have it. The one main like general store kind of place in this entire area. Bar ain't gonna have it. Other bar ain't gonna have it. I feel like these guys are having a bit of trouble figuring out where they want to go. They're part of that nomad hive caravan, eh? Oh, I don't know the next nearest town. Oops, gamble. Bone fields. Royal Valley. Gray Shelf. Burning Forest. High Bone Fields. Oh! Oh, Hivers! 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 Right, right, right! Some of these guys might actually have some shit that I want. Yes! Get how much it costs, but we're gonna build it. One costs five. Three. All right. Set up a tort. Uh, no. We actually won't do that because I'm pretty sure I had to research some things anyway. All right, it's time for Pippi to become a scientist. Alright, um, before the Hivers are allowed to leave, I need to buy some more shit. Alright, this is one of those times when I'll actually speed things up. Because building just literally consumes time, that's all it does. And where are the Hivers? Where'd they gone? Oh, has there been another fight? Because they have weapons out again. No, I'm not seeing any more corpses I can loot for food. Money. But this is a good starting economy for me. Alright, I need six books in order for that. And I know that imprisonment is at least like tech level two or three. Pretty sure it's like three. Maybe even four. So we'll have to deal. Buy as many as I can. I think I could only afford the six that I needed. Fuck. I need to research regular storage tests. Item storage, yeah, that's what I need. I just need to make, like, a single storage chest. Drop a bunch of crap off so I can run around again. Yeah, it's one of the later defensive of things. All right. Could be toiling away at a research lab. 
Looks like she's actually maybe doing something if we make it so you can't see her hands. A bunch of people in this area are poor, it seems. Hey,